Hey, what's up? Welcome to Degen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Rivian Automotive, ticker symbol R-I-V-N. And so here I am recording this on Friday, June 21st during market hours. And Rivian is currently trading at a price of right around $10.37, being up about 0.3% so far on the day. But of course that could change. And so I wanted to go over the chart here because it's been a little while and I do like the stock. So, you know, I've been wanting to cover it for some time now, uh, but I do think that it has retraced to a pretty interesting level although I do think it might continue down a little bit more before we do some upside. And it could then be setting up for a pretty bullish pattern, a big move to the upside. So I did want to go over that. But so here, looking at the chart, looking at the daily candles here, I do have this retracement drawn from the low of 826 hit on April 16th going up to the high of 1246 hit on June 12th. And from that retracement, we can see various levels and price has pulled back to the 50% retracement at a price of $10.36, being right around there currently. But we did get a wick below hitting a low today of $10.15. So, you know, I'm wondering if that is the bottom, if this is going to start making its way back up now, or if it might be continuing down to the 618 at a price of $9.86. And so I actually find that a little bit more compelling coming down to right around $10 a share. And the reason for that is because the low from over here hit on February 26th was at a price of $10.05, as you can see marked by the yellow line here. And that also does coincide with the lows over here and this consolidation that we see. We're currently trading in that range right now. And I do think that we could be finding some solid support right around $10 a share. So I could see it coming down a little bit more, but I do think we could be setting up for some very nice moves to the upside. As you might notice, I do have this purple downtrending line here, which does represent what could be a neckline for an inverse head and shoulders, suggesting that price could be going much higher in the coming months. And I also do have this blue line marked here at $15.39, which was the closing price hit on February 21st following earnings before we did see this massive gap down, coming down just over 25% into the trading day of February 22nd. And so we do still have that gap to be filled to the upside. And I do think that this inverse head and shoulders pattern could have a role to play in that. And so if I take a measurement from the lows here, basically from the top of that inverted head, draw that back up to the neckline. That represents a move of nearly $5, about $4.89. And then if I take that measurement to where we might be breaking that neckline, I'm just going to draw it to coincide with the yellow line that I have drawn here at $12 a share. You know, just being a round number and that level does converge with the downtrend in the middle of July, so about a month from now, so I could see price getting back up to 12 around then. And so with that being said, this move would not only take us past this gap to be filling that to the upside, but it would be taking price to right around $17 a share. Maybe though it would be bumping into some resistance as we do see this trend line here based on the two pivot points over here that you can see that does, you know, intersect with that measured move to the upside. So maybe we'd be bumping into resistance around $16 a share. But, you know, I do think that just looking at the current price, whether we pull down to $10 a share, maybe go a little bit lower than that, I think we could be finding some support before we see, you know, a move to the upside just to getting to that neckline of about 20% going from 10 to $12 a share. And then from there, maybe going up an additional three to $5. So, you know, I think the Rivian chart is looking really, really good right now. I do think that we could be seeing a bottoming signal with this doji pattern that we're seeing. It could be suggesting that there is a little bit of indecision and that we may be finding a bottom. So if that is to be the case, I would look for some moves to the upside, maybe reclaiming the 382 at a price of around $10.86 
or right around $11 a share. But if we do continue lower to 10, I think that's going to be a great dip buying opportunity with a lot of upside in the next couple months. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.